Now the selection rules in IR spectroscopy, very short topic but very very important topic I am going to discuss here. So there are only we have to see three points and few examples. What is that? I am um, just discussing first point that the number of bands actually obtained in IR spectrum are less than all vibrations which are taking place in the molecule. So number of, actually we, we expect that the number of types of vibration equals to the number of IR bands. But this is not the case. Actual IR bands are less than predicted from the number of types of vibrations. So that you should remember. Why? Because in IR spectrum or in IR spectroscopy only those vibrations are actually result in absorption of radiation which are actually changing a dipole moment or which are actually giving unsymmetrical charge distribution that word is there unsymmetrical charge distribution that means it should develop a polarity in the molecule in simple language it should develop a positive and negative end, little bit even, is sufficient to cause absorption in IR spectrum. So, uh, now see, again, I, I want to clear this point once again, that if vibration is taking place, and because of that vibration, if unsymmetrical charge distribution takes place in the molecule, that means if you observe, positive and negative end in the molecule because of vibration then only that molecule can absorb IR radiation to give the band in IR spectrum that is very clear so what is selection rule selection rule is given here that the vibration should result which vibration A vibration should result in temporary change in dipole moment it is not necessary that the molecule is originally having some dipole moment. It is not necessary. But due to vibration, there must be change in dipole moment. And you know very well, dipole moment is only because of charge distribution. If the molecule having positive and negative charge, then that molecule having certain dipole moment. And because of that vibration, if originally molecule is not having dipole moment but because of that vibration there is some dipole moment then that molecule because of that vibration absorbs IR radiation this is the selection rule so what is important the molecule should I mean during the vibration there should be change in dipole moment if there is change in dipole moment in the molecule because of vibration then that molecule can absorb IR radiation and we get NMR band. I mean, sorry, so not NMR, IR band. I'm sorry. So, what is important? Third point is again very, very important. Molar, it is regarding molar extinction coefficient. Molar extinction coefficient in simple language, you can say the intensity of the band. So, stronger band, weaker band. So, if molar extinction coefficient is more, it's a stronger band. So actually this is a proportional to the square of the change in dipole moment. So if there is more change in dipole moment because of particular vibration, the intensity of the IR band will be more. And if the change in dipole moment is less, the intensity of IR band will be less. So this is the meaning of this molar extinction coefficient. Now I'm going to discuss few examples here. So these are the mono, I mean, these are homoatomic, I mean, having the similar atoms present in the molecule. Now EN2, Cl2 or few more molecules like this, these are not actually IR active. So if you, if you try to scan the IR spectrum for this molecule, you will not get any, any band. Why? Because of vibration in this molecule, there will be no change in dipole moment. You can see these are symmetrical molecules having two similar atoms. So because of vibration, there will be no change in polarity. 
and if there is no change in polarity the molecule is not having dipole moment if there is no dipole moment the molecule is not ir active means it is not going to absorb ir radiation that is the meaning another example i i have taken here one is carbon tetrachloride another is chloroform carbon tetrachloride is a symmetrical molecule and chloroform is unsymmetrical molecule so in case of symmetrical molecule you can see due to vibration also there is no change in dipole moment and that because of that because of that you can say carbon tetrachloride is inactive it is not going to absorb ir radiation because there is no change in dipole moment due to vibration and hence this carbon tetrachloride will not give ir band in ir spectrum but in case of chloroform you can see this is unsymmetrical molecule and for here again having certain dipole moment because of this bond because of this unsymmetrical uh, molecule there is a dipole moment and due to vibration that dipole moment is changed and because of that chloroform gives absorption in ir spectrum or it gives a band in ir spectrum so this chloroform is ir active but carbon tetrachloride is ir inactive why because there is no change in dipole moment and that is what our selection rule says so this is the selection rule uh, which is very very important to predict whether the molecule will show ir absorption or not so that's it thank you so much